Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and this is a fucking doozy. Oh my god, like, I feel like I am in the Twilight Zone sometimes when I find some of this stuff. Oh, I promised a positive video today. I am so sorry. Okay, a feminist wants a female Joker to be the hero. Okay, so let's dissect that sentence for one second. First off, we're talking feminists here, so this is gonna be a hot mess as it is anyway. But a female Joker, we've seen that before. We've seen that in Flashpoint, and we have Duella Dent. So it's not something new to be a hero. <laughs> like, no! They make too many of these um, villains into heroes. Or so many that it's gotten kind of ridiculous. We've got Harley and Ivy and Catwoman and just basically everybody you could think of. So no, stop doing this. It, it's good for an arc or two, maybe, but if you want a villain in your villain. You want somebody that you fear, not somebody that is this anti-hero. I, I just, yeah. Stick to the source material. We'll keep that as a theme as the last couple videos I have done because it's all it seems to be talking about. And I love this website. It's comic book news. And it's actually not one, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But it's not one like Polygon or CBR that is absolute crap. They actually seem to be halfway decent in their reporting. So this is all over Twitter. Mm, yeah, well, that kind of seems to happen a lot. So let's just dive right into it. The Joker should have been a woman. She finally went insane because too many random dudes told her to smile. Now she is perpetually smiles while terrorizing Gotham. Okay. Oh my god. Have you not read Flashpoint? Martha is the Joker. She literally becomes that because Thomas keeps telling her that he misses her smile. This isn't a new concept. If you're going for the whole Brie Larson um, motorcycle scene where people were telling her she needed to smile more, then fine, I get your premise here. It's okay to smile. There's nothing wrong with it. I've said this before. Stop using this as a punchline. It doesn't work. Nobody cares. But you know, when we do go to your bio, we kind of see a little bit more. And you can kind of feel these people out. She's got pronouns and feminist right in there. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> she becomes a sort of folk hero for the women of Gotham. You know what, fuck the men. Let's just let them die. Just the women, I guess. <laughs> she unleashes financial reports. For companies that don't compensate women properly. Oh my god, I can't even get that out. The wage gap has been debunked for years, my dear. That has been debunked. If you want to look into it, go ahead and do it yourself. I've done it myself plenty of times. It's been debunked. Let it go. If you have nothing left to fight for, stop fighting. <laughs> There's no reason to. Oh my god. Okay, she she blackmails cheaters and misogynists. Okay, oh, Jesus. She threatens the goddamn patriarchy. It's terrifying and wonderful. Oh, this tweet is such fucking cringe. The Batman needs to stop her to restore the level, the order of things. On some level, he's conflicted. She's a villain, but she's right. <laughs> She's so right about that wage gap. She's so right about the patriarchy. Like, come on, honey, you are reaching so far. You got your 15 minutes of attention, 15 minutes of fame. Just stop right now. Her catchphrase would actually be, well, actually. And then she trail off on some laugh maniacally. So you're gonna be that annoying person that every time somebody says something, you're like, well, actually, well, actually, yeah, I want to punch you in the face, actually. Oh, my God. So she goes on and continues about this, but she's talking about all these men are coming at her. They're so horrible because they don't want a woman in a comic book to be the Joker. No, we've seen that. It's nothing new. Why are you doing this? And she posts a bunch of screenshots and, you know, she's trolling here a little bit, but if someone comes back and no one could terrorize Gotham like... Uh, no woman, sorry. Yeah, I just love it because if you're going to say stupid shit, you're gonna get stupid shit back. 
in this one. Oh my god, this person's named Tristan. I how much you want to bet me it's a dude? How much do you want to bet this Tristan is a dude? I could look it up, but I'm not going to. Ah, yes. Systematic misogyny. Let's not actually focus on items like women being murdered over not wearing proper clothing or not being allowed to leave the house without a man. Let's instead focus on some dick telling a woman she doesn't smile enough. That's the real crime. Like, stop. Full fucking stop with all of this. This is really bad. And she thinks, or she claims, or she victimizes that it all comes down to the fact that it's a woman when it is not. It's the fact that we've seen this before. We've seen this played out very well, actually. I love the Flashpoint storyline. I love everything about it. But she acts like she has this original fucking idea when it's not. <laughs> it's literally not like, I think she just didn't know, which could be, be a very good possibility. She had no idea what she was talking about when she started it. She just seen the movie, seen it was trending, tried to see some people were calling it an incel movie, which I covered previously, and was like, hey, I'm going to fucking bash on comic book people. Yeah, well, it didn't work out very well in your favor, did it, honey? Yeah, she still keeps claiming it's because, you know, a female hero, a female Joker. Oh, well, these guys in my mention who are mad that I suggested, suggested a girl Joker wouldn't last a fucking day as a woman. Really? I'm not sure that you've lasted very long because you do not seem to exactly embrace just being what a woman about. It's not being about a man hater. It's not being about this feminine feminist preaching all of your ideologies when it comes down to the end of the day it's okay to smile and that was one of the main things you said there is nothing wrong with it how many times do i have to fucking say that imagine getting this mad because someone suggested the bad guy should be a girl no 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 we have plenty of bad girls we have talia we have ivy and if you were just talking about batman his rogues gallery is full of either a very horrid great villains at the same time or be very strong women so yeah totally blown out of the water there but when we try to fight back at the government regulating our bodies we're hysterical and out of line oh so here's what it really comes down to your agenda was to cover oh whether i should say this it is going to get buried in the algorithm abortion laws because the Joker movie came out and you could coincide them and really get to the bottom of what you're saying. Yeah, this is just absolutely ridiculous. Do not do this, WB. Do not look into this, WB. This is... <laughs> I don't think that you actually would, but this is absolutely ridiculous. She got a bunch of fan art, though. They're actually kind of pretty good. But, um, do not listen to this side. Nobody wants to listen to this side. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, the movie that you're making. I was not into the Joker idea when it first came out. I seen the original trailer. And I was like, I don't know. It looks okay. It doesn't look great. But when I actually read the um, leaks that came out, I was into it. Like, I like it. It's a Joker by name only. Yes, it is a Elseworlds Joker. But it could work. And I actually think that um, Joaquin Phoenix and everything... The people that are attached, I think it could work. Now, don't go this far. And we've seen even earlier, which I, I doubt I'll make a video about it. So the stuff with Alfred being gender <laughs> like Jerry Conway, shut up. Don't do this. This is ridiculous. Do not gender swap this. Do not gender swap any of these characters. Keep them. If you want to create a badass villain character that is a female, then use one that's already there as a female or make a new one. Do not pick and choose from which character and then just decide what you want to use from the source material and then decide to keep it in the character, but you know, flip flop. I guess, I don't know, I think this is ridiculous and unfortunately we're going to see more and more of it get that, I hope not, more and more of it going this way. And if you're interested in my work, oh wait, here's your other agenda. Nope, nobody's, nobody's interested. You can check out my blog or my book. Okay, mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you all. You don't have to smile unless you want to. Thank you, Captain fucking Obvious. You do not have to smile unless you want to. That was your message at the end of the day? Oh, lordy, lordy, honey. You need some help. You need a man. And you need 
to calm the fuck down because this is not going to happen. Just basically do your research before you put something out like this. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I've ranted too long. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.